Hello, welcome to Square Studio Printing. In this video, I'll be updating the K1 Max to the latest firmware from Creality. Let's scratch today's topic. Creality just dropped another firmware update for the K1 Max. It's been about 5 months since Creality have a new update for the K1 Max. That's because I think they've been focusing on the K2 Plus that is coming out very soon. But in this video, I'll be installing the new firmware from Creality to the K1 Max and I have seen some people getting errors from installing this new firmware because they have their machine rooted or maybe just other stuff. But I will show you how to properly install the new firmware, how to properly factory reset your K1 Max so that you won't have any problem. And then I will continue on showing you how to enable root on the K1 Max, how to properly install root on your K1 Max so that you don't have any problems and so that you don't fry your 3D printer. Let's go ahead and install the new firmware onto the K1 Max. I just booted up the K1 Max and right here, new version is found. So number one, it says that please do a factory reset if you use the root script to install other components, otherwise it might cause error. I'm just going to record this and not do like stream lab recording because I'm just going to quickly read this. Okay, number one, please do a factory reset if you use the root script to install other components, otherwise it might cause error. And this is true. Last time I did this, I did not do a factory reset and my K1 Max is printing nicely. But I have seen other people having this 3002 error and I don't know, some people say that their motherboard is like fried up or something like that. But it's just best to do a factory reset and this time I'm actually going to probably do a factory reset. Upgrade won't remove fluid main cell but will override printer configs. Save configs if needed. So right here is what is being added to this new update. Version 1.3.3.36. Number one, optimize the logic of filament loading and unloading. Number two is optimize some UI's issue. Nice. Compatible with Creality Print 5.1. Amazing. Optimize leveling parameters. Okay, this is quite nice. Because for some reason, my K1 Max cannot print for the life of it. For this past couple of days, it cannot print. I cannot do anything on it. When I installed the 0.8 millimeter nozzle on it, it prints really well for like a whole week. And then just like three days ago, it can't print. So it's good that they came out with this new firmware. And I'm just gonna update the firmware, restart everything, clean fresh. So hopefully, I can get the Kill Max to print again. It's just like always like this. Someday the Kill Max print like a god, and then someday the Kill Max print like trash. I don't know. Number five is fix some bugs. I'll leave a link down below for this page. The Kill Max has done updating. After the upgrade, please recalibrate before starting the printing task. Okay. Yeah, people get this key 3002 error unknown exceptions. So I'm just gonna click OK. Um, just click restart. Oh, I should press fault reporting. Okay, it went away and zero 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 everything. I did see lots of people getting this error. Let's go to setting. Go all the way down. Reset to default. So I'm gonna restore this. Confirm reset. Okay, we're gonna do this and I'll be doing one more factory reset that actually resets lots and lots of things from the computer. And look at this, we gotta select our language again, and then we gotta do all of this, and yeah, just follow the direction here. So you might hear the K1 Max doing the input shipping right now, but I hope that's okay. I will go to GitHub, and this is Gui Laos, the creator of Creality Helper Script that can help you root your K1 Max very easily. We can go to his wiki guy here. It's not only him, it's all these people that has contributed to this, so thank you to all of them. So we can go to their wiki here, and it's all about the K1 series and the N3 V3. So we're going to search up here, K1 Max Factory Reset. Right here, Reset Factory Setting. The best way to reset the printer is to Factory Reset Setting, perform a full reset. There are two possibilities to do this. And right here, note that the Factory Reset function in the screen menu setting only performs a partial reset. You can do it from here, the SSH connection without helper script. You can also reset from a USB drive, or you can reset from WebSocket connection. There is actually one more way of doing a factory reset. So if you search factory reset, there's two up here. So this one right here, we already looked at. And another one is down here. So we click this one. It will take you to this page. And this will also do a full reset. But in order to do this, you must have your 3D printer rooted and have access to 
this right here. So I just checked with Warcraft Lesser right now, and as you can see here, when I click test, there's this error saying that it cannot connect to this 3D printer with the port 4408. But if you put the IP address in the Google Chrome browser, it works. I'm just gonna do it with this reset web socket connection by downloading this. So you just download that, unzip it, there'll be a Google Chrome page that will send you here. So all you need to do is just follow these direction here and put in your printer's IP address and then click reset and then we'll do a factory reset with everything. Put in my printer's IP address, click reset. Reset successfully completed. Okay, the Max has done doing it calibration again so here is how you root your cable max if you have not rooted first you go to setting you scroll down a little bit root account information it will give you this warning you just gotta click i have read and understand the risk of rooting so if you want to you can read all of this but we gotta wait 30 seconds until it allow us to go to the next step 30 seconds has passed we can click ok now and there we go. It will give you root access, the account name, the password is Kubernetes underscore 2023. So now that we have enabled root for our K1 Max, we're going to come to this wiki for Kubernetes helper script. And we're going to go right here, install helper script. So you can go ahead and read all of this before you root your 3D printer. So you want to uninstall everything that you installed previously on your, then you can continue to the next step connect to SSH. There's a guy here, so we're going to click here. The first thing that you want to do is enable root access, which we already did. Download and install mobile xterm. You can do it here. I already got it. Then you can go ahead and launch it. Right here, I got my mobile xterm up and running. We're going to go ahead and click session, SSH, and then our remote host, which is the IP address of our 3D printer. So we're just going to type that there. Then I'll be clicking this box, specific username and the name is root as you saw on the k1 max then we're going to click ok then it will give you this pop up you do you want to go ahead and do it and then we're just going to click accept and now that we got that it's asking for the password which is creality underscore 2023 it doesn't show anything for security purpose but i type it in there i'll press enter you want to save the password if you want to save the password you can go ahead and do it but i'm not going to save the password and now we are here so it's basically we have went inside our motherboard of the kill max and we can mess around with it so once we have done all of those go back and continue following the steps so we're going to enter the follow command right here i'm just going to copy the whole thing here and paste it here you cannot control paste here because it doesn't work with this kind of terminal you can right click and then paste paste is shift plus insert on windows for this terminal on the mobile xterm so let's paste it then we're going to click enter and then we'll do everything for us we don't have to do anything that's why gui lao's helper script is so nice and amazing and easy to do they already got everything set up for you all you have to do is just install it onto your computer and it will just automatically do everything for you and so just like that everything has been done for us we can go ahead and continue to the next step enter this command to run the script so we're going to copy this and then paste it here right click on my mouse click paste enter and kaboom we have entered into the helper script and now we can one install menus into our k1 max remove the menu that we installed from here we can customize we can backup restore we can look at the tools or information system or you can press q and exit if we come back to the helper script guide here there's one more thing down here if you encounter an issue to clone helper script repository you can enter this command before cloning so if you have issue just copy this and then just paste it in there and hopefully that will fix the problem and if you want to update here's the way of you doing the update it will prompt you with this if, if you want to update yes or no and then you will just do all of this you will just go and just find all the updates just follow this guy it's very simple very nice so we're going to go ahead and install everything now 
So I'm going to click one, install, and this is the essential, this is the utilities, improvements, which I will get lots of things, the camera, remote access, and stuff like that. So all we have to do is just type our choice, and it's already numbered here, so then we can just type a number, click enter. I'm going to be installing fluid and main cell right here, so which is two and three, I'll enter two, and then click enter, and it will give you this note here, moon raker and... And, and this are needed please install them first look at that it's so nice so i need to do one first install moonraker first click enter and then we we'll ask you do you want to install why for yes yeah look at that it just automatically do everything for you it's so nice so it's actually done everything for us and now i can go ahead and install fluid which is number two click yes it's working to work a slicer so we can click this connection Wi-Fi bar right here. Test. And look at that. Connection to Octoprint is working correctly. And click OK. We can click the device. And now we will be able to see everything again. Look at that. We don't have the camera, but you can enable the camera by going to setting. Scroll down until you see camera. So right here is camera. We're going to add a camera. And name it camera K1 Max. And if you want to mess around with the setting, you can do that. FPS target, I'm just going to do 30, click enter, and now we have our K1 Max right here. If we go back to home, we will be able to see our camera. Let's go. Okay, so at this point, I hope you get a good understanding of how to install root and install the manuals that you want to. So I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to go ahead and install all the things that I will be needing, and we will wrap up this portion of the video. So just quickly, I'm going to be installing... Number six, Clipper Adaptive Meshing and Purging, which is CAMP. For me, I feel like this is a must installation if you're rooting your 3D printer. Nozzle Cleaning Fan Control, I'm going to do that. Improve Shaper Calibrations, doing that. Save C Offset Macros, I'll be doing that. Screw Tilt Adjustment Support, I'll be doing that. And that is pretty much about it for what I really need. And some other things down here that is just like fun stuff. And oh my gosh, here we finally go. Yes, let's go. I was able to finally install Guppy Screen on my Kill Mac. I could never do this in the past. I don't know why. Every single time I try to install Guppy Screen on my Kill Mac screen, it just does not work. It would just give me an error and the screen was just stuck there forever. So I could never get this, but now I actually got it. Oh, if you want Guppy Screen on your Kill Max, you need to uninstall input shaping from the rooting part. But I feel like this is so much better because if we look at this, you still have all of this LED, you print, Fan, homing, extrude, it's just like all in the home screen. We click here, it's all macro, so we can just do all our testing right here. And the camera, just stuff that is just everything is right here on your screen if you use your screen a lot. Right here is the command, you can run command, you can write command, you can do all of that. Your macro is right here, bed match map, just all the things right here. Basically, clipper on this screen right here, and this one right here, the setting. You have bed mesh, you have fine tuning, and look at that. You can fine tune your 3D printer very nicely. It's just like so many stuff. I don't know all of this thing yet because first time I got copy screen, you can do input shaping from here. You can adjust the frequency right here too, to however you want. And you can really fine tune your 3D printer by doing this. You can change this very easily. Oh. Okay, you can do the belt, the shake, and everything. It's just like, oh my god, it's just so nice. Wait, can I do this? Okay, never mind. Let, let's just stop. And I just ruined my Q-Max. So this is why I... <laughs> I guess this is why I should not have good things, but whatever. Let's go back. We can still use it. Limits. So this is our limits for K1 Max. We have another button right here, but it's gray out so i don't know why and this is the tm tmc metric it's experimental oh okay uh yeah let's not mess with that okay you can check your wi-fi spool man um cool you can check the system you can change the theme color it's just so um, so much information and your printers you can also update guppy restart restart your 3d printer it's just like so much information here. it's just really really cool we have updated the k1 max 
properly this time. We updated the K1 Max to the latest firmware from Creality. Factory reset the 3D printers. Then we enable root for the K1 Max. Install root by using the helper script from GUI Laos and other contributors. Then we download mobile extern do SSH connection to the K1 Max. Enter all the information, get into the K1 Max root, install all the things that we need, install fluid, install main cell, install input shipping, and guppy screen it's so cool and there you go this is how you do it correctly by updating your k max to the latest firmware from creality without ruining your 3d printers and this is doing it properly well that'll be it for this video of me updating the k max reenable rooting and all of that stuff there's so so much more to cover with rooting on the k max but I guess I will leave that for another video and my previous video that I made throughout the years that'll be it for this video Leave a like if you like this video, if you follow the video, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below if you still have any question on updating the KMO Max, rooting, camp, stuff like that, printer settings, just anything about the KMO Max, rooting. Leave a comment down below. And leave a comment down below if you found a better way of doing it or like having tips for other people, for me. Just leave everything in the comment down below and I will leave all the links to what we did today. Description down below so it will just be click click easy access and all of that stuff. Thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3D printing.